Hey guys, so today we're going to shoot a video on just painting a project with the General Finishes Milk Paint line um, and showcasing their new colors. This is not a review video, I've already done that, so if you want to check that one out, that is on my channel. It's not really a how-to because I've done plenty of those. This is just painting a project showcasing the new color line of General Finishes. So they sent me a can the other day. I'm super excited to give it a go and try it. I picked the color and I will show you guys the color I picked that we're going to put on this piece today, if I can get it off carefully. This is called Blue Moon. How gorgeous is that color? Of course I picked it. It's like the color that's all over my house inside. This piece is gonna be up for sale though. I'm not gonna bring it in the house. <laughs> so I hope that this video inspires you to go out and try the General Finishes Milk Paint. If you have not, now is the best time because they just came out with 11 additional colors. So let's just go ahead and get right to it and get started painting on this project. Right, we okay. are ready to go ahead and get our paint onto the piece. Um, I have done the top, I sanded it yesterday and began the staining process with the General Finishes Java Gel, one of my number one stains. It's actually my number one requested look and I thought it would look beautiful with this beautiful blue moon paint. And so we are ready to dive in and get started. Normally, um, I take off the doors. In this case, we are not gonna do that for this piece because I'm still rocking this beautiful pink camel cast for two more days and that's it. Um, then I go to a walking boot, but that's okay. It's better than this. So I'm not as agile and I can't move around as much and set things up the same way I normally would. So we are leaving the doors on and painting, which is okay, it's no big deal. I have removed the hardware and I have prepped my piece entirely, so it is ready to go. If you don't know how to prep your piece appropriately, check out my video on that, it's up on this channel and that will help you get your piece ready for the most beautiful finish. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive in and get this color on, see okay, how it looks. Okay, so in my videos, I do like to mention what brushes I'm going to use and for this project, we're gonna go ahead and use the Klingon F50, which is my handy brush I use for pretty much all of my projects and today I'm gonna to introduce my brand new um, Klingon 40, which this is a flat top. It's more, it's a narrow brush and it's kind of oblong. This is gonna be a great brush for getting into these detailed areas here. So I always suggest have two brushes on hand. I also keep a, a pretty wet drenched paper towel because in between switching out brushes, you can wrap one of these up and it'll still stay nice and moist so that you can kind of go back and forth. Okay? routine in which I start a piece and I'm just totally going to wing it and I'm a little thrown off just because of my mobility. So we're just going to start wherever. I've got the doors propped open because I am going to want to go ahead and get my edges um, as I'm painting here. So we're just going to get going with it. I'm going to start in with this Klingon 40 brush because I really feel like it will get in these little curves and crevices so much nicer than the flat paddle F50. And right now, I'm not worrying about putting this on in any certain way or any technique. Um, I'm just kind of going for it and just kind of trying to get it in there in all the little spots and crevices. So you don't have to have the smoothest application right now, um, you can go back over this. So right now I'm just trying to get the paint onto the piece so that I can cover all of these areas. When you have a piece that has a design like this, it is a little bit difficult um, to get a beautiful even finish right off the bat. We're gonna go back over this once I get all that paint on. The great thing about General Finishes paint is it doesn't set up so quickly that you can't go back and work with it. I have worked with some paints in the past where um, right now at this point, these sections would be drying and really not drying, but they're setting up. And if I were to go back over them, then it would be kind of a mess. This paint is a nice paint. It does have some workability time to it. So now I'm gonna go back over and start to really make sure that not only do I have coverage, but I'm not going to have 50,000 different brush strokes and so and drips, which you do have to be cognizant of when you're working with this type of a piece. You can get drips really easily underneath these little areas and not even see them. So the best thing I can tell you is pick kind of a direction and go with it. Um, you know, some of these different areas, as you can see me, I'm going kind of back and forth. 
Um, but I have to kind of pick a direction and go with it so that I don't have 50,000 different paint stroke marks left behind. Um, right now, I'm just trying to get the coverage and it looks like we're doing pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this door off and then um, we will go ahead and move on to the sides. I love, love, love the coverage of General Finishes. It never gets old working with this product. I've worked with it for so long now and it is one of my top paints that I use in the shop. Um, and and main, re main reason is I love the application. It goes on so beautifully. Their coverage is wonderful. Now this is one of the darker colors and so the coverage will tend to be probably a little bit better and I talk about this in almost every one of my videos. It will be better than the light colors. The lighter colors are just going to require more. I don't even know what to do in this little circular area. Should I go up, down, circular? This is going to be interesting. Anyway, we've got that first coat on. There's a lot of little crevices and little areas and cutouts that I had to kind of get around. So that looked a little kind of crazy and strange, but um, I assure you that with these Klingon brushes and the general finishes paint, you will have zero brush strokes. Even though I went 15 different directions, um, it'll all come out good. We're going to move to the sides now so that you'll see um, how nicely this application goes on. And um, the coverage is so good. It's such a nice, beautiful day today, and the paint is drying up so fast. So this is awesome. So we are at the end of the first coat. I've gone ahead and coated the entire piece and it's been about an hour and a half. Um, dry time for the general finishes is about an hour to two hours, just depends on your, um, your weather conditions and what your environment's like. So I just wanted to show you guys up close. This of course is an absolutely beautiful color like I knew it would be. Um, and I will show you the first coat finish up, up close so you guys can get a really good idea of what the coverage looks like, but it is beautiful. I am super, super happy with the way that this has um, come out. And the second coat will probably be the final coat. I usually, with general finishes and the darker colors, only have to put two coats on. So let's go ahead and tip the camera down and you guys can take a quick peek at how nicely the paint lays down and the, how well the right, coverage So we are at the end of the first coat and I wanted to show you a really up close, just to show you, first of all, how beautiful is that blue? And second of all, how wonderful is that coverage? Up in the right hand corner there, you can see that was just me going a little bit lighter, but the coverage overall, general finishes never disappoints. It always provides such an excellent coverage. One of the reasons that it's one of my number one paints that I use. So we will pick up anything we missed on that second coat. Let's go ahead and dive in and get started. I can't wait to finish this. All right, you guys, we are done. I have two coats on this piece and it's come out absolutely beautiful. The color is gorgeous. I absolutely love this. Again, it's blue moon is this color. I'm going to go ahead and let this set up overnight, come back tomorrow and apply my uh, water-based top coat. I'm going to use the General Finishes High Performance Top Coat in Satin, which is an excellent top coat. Now, it is not required for you to put a top coat on this paint. It says right there on the can. If you go to their website, it also will tell you all about that. It is a self-sealing paint, so it does not require that top coat. However, when you're glazing, I would suggest it because it does make it a lot easier for that glaze to move around. Um, so I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I will include a final picture of the way it sits today, and I will include a final picture after I top coat it and glaze it. So just remember that, the high performance top coat, excellent choice for a top coat for either your stained or your painted projects. I love, love, love it. I use it on every project. So. 
Um, with that being said, I just want to talk a little bit about the paint itself. I know that I have talked about general finishes paint before, but I just wanted to reiterate how nicely the application for this paint goes on. I have a tendency to want to get that perfection in my finish. And sometimes that means you work over and over and over certain areas in order to avoid um, having lines or any um, brush strokes. And so I have to tell you, working with this product is so wonderful. It doesn't set up so quickly that you can't have a good workability time with it. Um, I was able to go over certain areas on my second coat two, three, four times. And you don't know how refreshing that is when you're working with a paint that you're able to do that. I'm going to show you guys up close here in just a moment because you're going to see how beautiful the finish is. And this is without a top coat yet. So you're going to see how gorgeous it has a beautiful sheen to it, almost like a satin sheen, kind of an eggshell satin. And it just lays down so nicely. It almost like it just kind of melts into the piece. So I'll show you up close here in just a minute. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully this was a fun video for you guys to watch. And now go check out at generalfinishes.com their new color line release because they've got some gorgeous colors. I can't wait to try more of them. And thank you for being subscribers. I do appreciate it. Please keep subscribing so you can get all of my videos and I will catch you on the next one. Hey guys, Bye. here is that second coat all done. And just look at how beautiful. I'm going to get in really close so you guys can see. Um, how nicely that paint applies. No brush strokes whatsoever. So, so, so smooth. And look at that pretty color.